It's been a while since we did a vlog, and I'm sorry, but it's been freaking hell on earth over here with like problems after problems after problems. I replaced the board in here just now, and now the LED light strip's not working. So now we need to rip all this apart, test it with 12 volt, if it's 12 volt, I think it is. This customer's waited like two months already. Because, I, you know, I have no pull over insurance companies if they take forever. <clears throat> I'm done doing insurance claims. I don't mind doing warranty claims when I'm done doing insurance. And a lot of people say they'd rather do warrant, warranty claims, but the, the insurance drag their feet, feet more than our... I can't even talk, I'm so pissed off. This is probably the first and last time you'll ever hear how much money I made on a call, so pay, pay attention because it's a lot. I, I hear that a lot in the comments. How much you make, Ross? Well, I went to a call and had an electrical problem. I was two and a half hours past Charlotte, or, or two and a half hours from here. I did not want to do it because it was too far. So I took the Honda and I took all of my electric equipment in the Honda. And I did the call. I found three problems with their power. It was a 2019 RV. The lady was super nice. It was way out in the woods. And I fixed everything. It took me about three and a half hours to fix it. And I drove two and a half hours each way. So you're talking five hours of driving and three hours on site. I only charged her 400 bucks. She charged, she gave me cash, 400 bucks. And I'm not gonna tell you, and and, I, and that, that's, it, you know, it sounds like a lot of money. Oh, 400 dollars cash, that's a lot of money for one day, Ross. Well, the wear and tear on the car, the knowledge, experience, the, the work I'm missing here, because I went there, it was, that day was slow, so that's why I did it. But I don't think I'm gonna go that far again. That's too long, too long. Hi, peeps. It's been a while since I've been on camera. I kind of hide every now and again, and I kind of needed a break from the camera. I'm sorry. I know everybody was texting me and upset that I wasn't in the videos, and everybody missed me, but I'm back. Um, and losing Izzy and moving and RVing was a little bit of a rough, uh, it was a rough thing for me. Uh, I had surgery in October, and the next day Izzy passed away, and I re it really, really, it's still hitting me kind of hard, but I'm getting there. So anyways, I decided to take you guys with me to get my hair fixed. I probably could pick up some pretty good antenna waves. You didn't get to meet Amanda because she was doing other people's hair at the same time as she was doing mine. But you guys can see the entire difference of what she has done with my hair. I like it a lot better. I'm sure my friend was going to like it a lot better because I had my hair like this when we lived in Florida. Um, she saw, we looked at pictures, she literally spent almost a half an hour, 45 minutes talking to me. Um, and we looked at pictures and she's been doing hair for over 21 years. And so she really, she knows what she's doing. And I wasn't, like I said, when I first came, when we first got here, I wasn't sure who was, you know, I could find to do my hair. And it's very, it's hard to find somebody that's gonna do what you want done to your hair. Um, and not everybody is trained correctly. And not that they did a horrible job, at the other place, but <clears throat> my hair just didn't look good. It was frizzy, it was a mess, it just wasn't good. Ready to get up? It's time to get up, let's go! Come on, let's go! And this is how I'm greeted when we get home. Hi! Are you gonna go pee pee? <coughs> yeah? <coughs> boop, 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 boop. Let's go pee pee! Boop, boop, boop. Come on, hop along, Sally. Hello, hello. I missed you. I missed you so much. Oh, you smell my hair. Yeah. Just to let you know, if anybody ever thinks that my husband doesn't eat well, he does. I'm last night. I made chicken. Uh, we had rice, and I had roots. I almost called them, call them roots because they are roots. They're root vegetables. But I had um, beets and I had carrots that I put in the oven and I roasted. So we had that and. So I, got, I just got home and fed Doodle, and I'm like, oh, I haven't eaten all day, so it's time to eat. And I got myself some rice, and I was in the, the uh, I can't even talk, I'm so, <laughs> where are my vegetables? And I keep looking, keep looking, and I put, pulled one out, and I was like, that's not my vegetables, that's the ham. And I kept looking, and um, somebody sat down with the rest of my carrots and beets and ate those. Some of my juice that I made. I know it does not look appetizing, but trust me, it is so good. So, 
I took a shower because I just, whatever was in my hair, something, the smell was bothering me, so I'm such a mess. Anyway, so I took a shower and then I decided to curl my hair. So this is the finished look. What do you guys think? Do you like it? I think Fred's going to like it. I'm kind of naked, so I can't really talk too long, but I did get the thing working in the fireplace. And customer's happy. And I drove, I used a half a tank, quarter, a quarter tank of gas today, put a toilet in too. And uh, that was an insurance thing. But I'm glad that fireplace is out here because it was a freaking nightmare. Have a good one. We'll see you tomorrow. Camper Pros, love you.